Hi everyone, I just channeled a very specific message and I feel like I need to get it out urgently. Um, I am working on your Zodiac videos right now, but I, I don't have them done yet, so I'm going to try to post them. I'm going to try for tomorrow, but it's probably going to be Thursday. But um, So this was Libra, and you could just have Libra in your chart. It doesn't necessarily have to be your sun sign. But basically the energy that I got from my Libra videos is that there is this abusive ex and this person, you've either just met someone new or you're about to meet someone new and this person might be feeling it energetically and they're trying to block you from it. Some of them are actually doing black magic to try to block you. Others are spying, stalking, you know, um, trying to keep tabs on you, asking mutual friends about you. And I know a lot of you, for those of you that are in that energy group, if you have Libra in your chart, I mean, you don't have to. If you if you resonate with it, go ahead and watch it when I put it up. Um, I haven't even loaded it yet. I just finished it. But, um, you know, for those of you that are in that energy group, I feel like there's just a really strong warning there. I know some of you are thinking, like, I'm over this ex. Why do they keep coming up? Like, why are they popping through my readings? Well, you know, in that video I got for two different reasons. One, some of them are just popping up because it's like they're so obsessed with you and they're trying to manifest you back. Two, I feel like your spirit guides are telling you, hey, you need to cut and clear this person. You need to watch your back. You need to cut out mutual friends that are spying on you on this person's behalf and reporting what you post on social media back to this person. Um... Or trying to like, you know, get you guys back together or pushing you or just trying to, you know, get you to give this person a second chance. This could even be like a family member or a friend you cut out. It doesn't have to be romantic. But but I, I know you're tired of hearing about this person. If you're in that group, you're probably sick of this person. It's like you want to move on from this. This person was toxic. This is someone that that's abusive is what I got. Or they would have ended up being abusive had you not gotten out of there when you did. Um so this person might just be coming up because you need to be aware of that. You need to cut and clear. You need to cut the red cords and clear this person out of your energy field and, you know, block them. And some of you need to watch yourself physically, like your your surroundings, your environment, you know, the people that are, are you know, holding you to this person. Because um, I got major stalker vibes. I got jealousy. I got that this person you know, they're either jealous of someone you just met or they're they're afraid you're going to meet someone. So they're trying to really put the vibe out there of you not meeting anybody new. They want to control you. I also got really bad anger issues with this person. And I feel like your spirit guides kind of showed you this person's energy. And this person knows that you're cutting them out now. They know that you're moving on from them and that they, they, they're trying to manipulate you. They're trying to think of what they can say to get back in because they know that you're not going to just give them a second chance. They can't gaslight you like they used to be able to. You know, you're more you're more logical now. You're more mindful. Um you're protecting yourself more now. But for someone in that group, and the video will be up. I, I mean like I said I haven't posted it yet. I'm still working on my on my zodiacs. I haven't even gotten through all my air signs yet, but it's going to be up um tomorrow or Thursday. But um but yeah, the, the, so for one specific person in that group, I got that you have a cat or multiple cats even. There's something really strong about a cat. Like I channeled a cat. Um, and this cat is, this cat just hates this person. And I think if that's your story, like, I mean, I think if this specific part of the story is yours, like you're going to know it because this cat did not like this person and this person didn't like the cat. This person is like a potential animal abuser. This is this person is someone that's so jealous, so controlling, so toxic that they didn't even like you paying attention to your cat over them. They didn't even they didn't even like having to share you with the cat. They wanted to control you. They wanted to own you. You know, who 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 competes with a cat? Like are you serious? You know, that's and that's your baby. You know, for whoever this is for, your cat is like like your past life son or daughter. It's like a spirit guide. It's like a little, it's just, this kitty has such a big heart. This kitty is so pure. They're so loving. They're so affectionate, so gentle, so patient. You know, this is a really very sweet cat. I get like a very loving vibe from this cat. And this cat just wants, it's like, what's not to like about this cat? This cat is just angelic and pure and just loving. But I feel like this this cat is very intuitive. 
And so for whoever that specific message is for, when you brought the cat to your house, like the cat just knew like that the cat knew this person's vibes were off. They knew this person was manipulative, toxic, a gaslighter, an abuser, um, extremely angry, extremely, you know, potentially violent. And the cat was upset. The cat did not want to see you in that situation with that person. And the cat was also a little bit jealous because I feel like this person was competitive with the cat. It, it's like the the person almost, I feel like this person wanted you to get rid of your cat. Like, I feel like they might have even brought it up or they might have just been like, like they might have said, I don't know, like they might have said that they were allergic to cats, but like, you know, that was a lie. Or they might have, like, like, this person's, like, toxic. Like, you would have known. You know what I mean? This wouldn't be someone that's, like, super sweet and loving, but they just happen to be allergic to cats. No. Like, you would have felt this energy, too. Like, like you guys are all watching a movie together, and the cat wants to cuddle with you, and the person's, like, glaring at the cat, or, like, being like, ooh, get the cat off the couch, or just, like, I don't know, like, just, like, mean to the cat, or just kind of, like, cold or distant with the cat, like, trying to push the cat out of your life. Um, like not wanting the three of you to be a family. Like he, the per, this person wanted it to be just you and them. They didn't want the cat to be part of that family. And that cat is your family. That is your baby. That's your son or your daughter. That is, that's your, that's your baby. You got to put your baby first. But, um, but yeah, the vibe, the energy I got from this cat, it just made me so emotional because this cat is so loving. And this cat, I feel like, is the type that just wants to to be close to people. And this person is just like, like, it just hated the cat. It's like, it just, this person did not want the cat around you. And um, I don't know if your cat didn't like them right off the bat. I feel like maybe your cat did try it first. And then the cat saw that this person was trying to push them out of your life and being... You know, like, they kind of, I think they got that intuitive vibe. Like, this person was being controlling. They were being, like, if someone's jealous of a cat, can you even imagine, like, how is that person going to be with another human? Like, they're going to, like, try to shoot someone. You know what I mean? Like, that per that's a crazy person. You want to avoid that, like, the plague. Trust me. That's that's nuts. Who's jealous of a cat? That's crazy. Like, it's, like no. Just, oh, just so much no. But, um... But anyway, that I really need to get this message out for it's just one specific person. I know most of you are not going to relate to this. This is for someone very specific. But um but yeah, this person wanted to push your cat out. This person I think and I think you probably got that vibe where it's like the person just didn't have any interest in petting the cat, like they just shooed the cat off the couch. They just kind of seemed like annoyed by the cat or like they kind of, like, didn't want to be around the cat. Like, you would have gotten that sense already. Like, I feel like they, even if they tried to hide it, I feel like their energy was really clear and you saw that. And I feel like you also saw the cat was, like, kind of, like, upset, you know? And I feel like in addition to that, like, to this person wanting to push the cat out, I feel like that this cat saw you really lose yourself to this person. Like, the cat saw you crying and just being maybe physically beaten by this person or verbally, like, assaulted, like, just assaulted or verbally like God, I'm getting I'm getting something with sex too I don't want to go there because I know that's triggering for people but for for that could be a message for someone too I feel like maybe there's like a few people I feel I thought it was only one person but I guess there could be a few people and that are for the for this message because that seemed very specific for someone but but anyway it's like they're seeing you like be like physically abused or like verbally abused or like I'm just seeing you with this person that they can, the cat can intuitively sense before you can that this person's controlling, jealous, overly competitive, angry, just, just, just really possessive of you. Like they see you as their property, like this person saw you as their property. And I feel like you cried a lot over this person. So this, so your cat saw you like, you know, breaking down and maybe even drinking or even doing drugs to cope with how this person was hurting you. Like, crying in bed, crying yourself to sleep. Like, they just saw you losing yourself. And I think some of you got kind of distant from the cat as well because it's like you just didn't have any energy. Like, you were just so depressed that it's like you couldn't you couldn't even, like, pay attention to it. Like, you couldn't give the cat the attention it needed. You were just so, like, just lost over this person. And, um, you know, the cat's really upset. I'm not – I hate to gate – I hate <laughs> – I hate to gatekeep. <laughs> no, I was going to say I hate to guilt trip. I hate to guilt trip people. Like, I'm not trying to guilt trip anyone. But it's like this cat, like, 
it just makes me want to cry because this cat is so pure and so loving and gentle and they just want their mommy or daddy back, male or female, whoever you are. It's like they just want it back to when it was just the two of you and you just spoiled them and loved them and you were just like this person took so much of you. They took so much of your soul away, so much of your energy away. And your your cat just wants you back to how you used to be, to, to being, you know, fun loving, um, affectionate with them, cuddly with them. I hear like this cat like misses like I don't know if you guys used to cuddle and watch movies together and like now it's like you don't do that so much anymore. Or it's like there's things you used to do with your cat and you don't do them as much anymore because you're just like depressed now or you're busy now. Um or like maybe you've been maybe for a while you were spending all your time at, you know, this boyfriend or girlfriend's house and leaving the cat alone because, you know, they didn't want to be around the cat, so they made you come to their house for some. But it's like your cat is so like I, I'm sorry, I don't know a nice way to say it, but your cat is depressed. Like your cat, like your cat needs your attention. Your cat needs and there's another warning here too that I'm gonna get into. There's something else you need to know if this is you, so please, please just stick with me. But um but yeah, one of the things was, it's like your cat is just depressed. Like, I don't, I don't know a way to sugarcoat that. Your cat is upset. Like, they want you back. They Like, you're, you're their parent. You are everything to them. You are their mommy or daddy. Like, they cannot live without you. They just love you so much. And they want you to be, they want to see you happy again. They want to, they want you, you guys on the couch cuddling, watching movies together again. They want your attention and your energy back again. They want you to be affectionate and be open and emotionally available with them again and really focus on them again. They miss that. They miss when it was just the two of you. They miss your how your energy was before, how you guys interacted before. They feel like everything changed. Like this person just ruined every, this ex of yours just ruined everything for you guys. You know, like they just, they changed you. They took so much from you and it's like, your cat, your cat misses you. They miss the the closeness you guys used to have with each other, you know? For some, you might have even let this person get in your head and convince you that they're a bad cat. And it's like, no, this person isn't, a, this cat isn't a bad cat. This cat is intuitive and wants this toxic person out of your life. And this cat is trying to push that person out of your life because they love you and they want to protect you and they want you to be happy again. And they see that this person is sucking the soul out of you or has, or was at least in the past. But, um... But yeah, that needs to be addressed. That's that's your baby. That I mean, your kitty should come first. That that is your that's your that's your daughter, or your son. That's that's your baby. That is like that could be like your past life child actually. Like that cat loves you. That you're in their entire world. And you know, they they just want you back. It's you know what I mean? Like it's it, they just want you back. They want you to stop focusing so much on this person and start focusing on them. Start giving them treats again, cuddling with them again, loving them, just paying attention to them again. You know, they really miss how it used to be before this person. Um, and like I said, some of you are still with this person. So they're still, the cat's still upset that you're allowing this person to do this and to push the cat out. Like the cat's really not happy about that. For others, it's like you've left this person already, but I feel like you're still not yourself. Like you're still really detached from everything and everyone, like kind of in your head, just crying all the time. And like your cat really just wants like your attention. They just want to be loved. They want to be cuddled again, you know? Um, so really try to give your cat some attention. Even if you're depressed, it's like, just take your cat to bed with you. You know what I mean? It's like, just, just show them that they're a priority in your life. Show them that you still love them. You know, like this cat is feeling really alone and that really, you know, clear things up with your baby. That is, that is your baby and your cat wants what's best for you. You have a really good, really loving cat. That kitty has such a big heart. Okay, if your kitty doesn't like someone, listen to them. Your cat knows. Like, your cat is intuitive. They know what's up. Um, oh, for others, okay, so in the Libra video, if you, and you could just have Libra in your chart or something, you know, or it could just be in your energy group. But anyway, for that video, I also got that you need to protect your cat. Like, you actually need to physically protect your cat because... For some, I feel like maybe you even chose the cat over them. Like maybe they said, hey, it's me or the cat. And you're like, screw you. I'm choosing my cat, which is good. That's what you should do. That's your baby. Choose your kitty first, you know. 
But some of you, it's like this person really just did not like your cat. And the person, this person probably lied to you. This person was probably like, oh, I'm, I'm like, I have allergies. Or like, oh, I just don't like them. Like most cats aren't friendly or blah, blah, blah. But it's like your cat has such a big heart. Like your cat didn't do anything wrong. And this person was trying to gaslight you into believing that your cat is just a bad cat or like, like trying to like turn you against your cat. It's so ridiculous. But, um, but no, this, this person's just super controlling and possessive and the cat saw that and was trying to, you know, and the cat also realized that this person was trying to push, push you out of, out of, um, push, push the kitty out of your life. And so the kitty was like, no, like, screw that. That's my parent. You're not doing that. And like, they don't want to see you heartbroken. They knew your cat was just trying to protect you. You know, like trust your kitty's intuition. You have a very psychic cat. Trust me. Um, because this cat is a lover. This cat loves most people. So for this cat to not like someone, I feel like there's something like, you know, there's something wrong with someone if this cat doesn't like someone. Um, this kitty just, yeah, this kitty saw the red flags and was like, oh, no, uh-uh, we're not doing that. <laughs> but um, but yeah, for some, I actually heard protect the cat. Like this person, if maybe you broke up because of the cat, maybe um, you're just shutting this person out because you're seeing the red flags that your cat saw. And this person can't get to you anymore. Like, you're just not entertaining this anymore. And it's frustrating this person. And they're getting angrier and angrier. And it's like they're they're going down. Like, they're having, like, a mental breakdown right now. Like, they're losing it because they can't control you. They're so pissed they can't control you that they might actually target your cat to get at you because they know how much you love your cat. And I hate giving readings like this because I know it's it's scary. I, I get it. Like, I... My baby passed last year. My kitty passed last year. And that was like, oh, that was devastating. That was like my, that was my entire world. So I know readings like this are terrifying. But I mean, I also need to give these messages because if this comes out, it's like, it's something you need to be aware of. It's something, these messages are, they don't come out to scare you. They come out so that you have this warning so that you can take this warning and you can do what you need to do to protect yourself and your cat. You know what I mean? Like, it's not meant to scare you. It's meant to make you be cautious and kind of take the blindfold off and show you what's going on here. You know what I mean? So it's actually a really positive thing, even though I know it's not it's not great news, but it, it's still it's still something really good in the long run. But yeah, I was hearing protect the cat. So some of, some of these some of these toxic exes are so pissed that they can't get to you anymore that they're actually going to target your cat. Now, this could be like something crazy, like like I feel like this person's nuts. This could be something crazy, like actually physically hurting your cat or kidnapping your cat. Um, or like, I don't know. I just don't get a good vibe. I just got for whoever that was for, I got a really bad, like really nerd, like just bad vibe. This person hates the cat and they can't get to you anymore. And they're, they're going to try at some point sooner or later, they're going to try to use the cat to get to you. Um, this could also be someone where it's like they, like maybe they have the cat and you need to go get your baby from this person. Like that could be the case too. Like maybe this person just like hates your cat, but maybe you needed a place to, to, maybe you couldn't, maybe you couldn't home them or something. So you had, you had this person hold your cat and maybe this person's thinking about what they can do. Like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to call, I'm going to give this cat to the shelter. I'm going to dump this cat somewhere. Or I'm going to hurt this cat if. If they don't, if you don't give me another chance, you know, something like that. It's one of those things like maybe you just need to go get your baby if this person has your cat. Um, if this is your story to a T and you have an indoor outdoor cat, I know your cat's not going to like it, but keep your cat indoors right now. Okay, please keep your cat indoors and change the locks. Um, cause whoever this is, this person's like a potential animal abuser. I hate to, I, I know I, I, it's, it's terrifying. I can't imagine whoever this is for. I can't imagine what you must be feeling, but you, you, you got to protect your cat. And like now you got to, you got to get your, get, if you're just, just protect the cat, just do what you need to do. Make sure your kitty's safe. Cause I feel like this person's already thinking about it. I don't feel like they've done anything quite yet, but I feel like they're getting more and more frustrated that they don't have your attention. So they're trying to find ways. They're trying to find whatever way they can to get in. And the cat right now is they're kind of looking at that cat like, hmm, yeah, I never liked that damn cat. I bet I could, I know how to, I know how to get an emotion out of it. It's like control. It's almost like, God, it's such a bad energy. It's like they just want, 
to see you crying and see you hurt and you don't hurt over them anymore. You're not crying over them. So they want to try to take what you do love because it's like there's nothing else for them to target, you know? Um, God, it's, oh. Whoever this is for, just protect your baby. Um, I go into more detail in the Libra video. I'm sorry it's not out yet. I, I have to do all my Zodiacs. Um, I'm going to try to do it tomorrow, but it's probably going to be Thursday. Honestly, I'm a little bit behind here. I usually try to post on the 15th, but I just, I got a lot going on right now, unfortunately. Um, but for those of you that are a witch and you're dealing with a witch who's doing black magic, you, you kind of, you need to be aware of this so you can, you can uncross yourself and protect yourself and your cat and your baby and, um, do like reversing magic. Like you need to be aware of this. This, you know what I mean? Like this ex isn't coming into your readings just to. Your guys aren't trying to just get you back together or trying to torment you. They're trying to say, hey, like, focus on this. Like, cut and clear this person. Cut this person out. Block them. Block friends of theirs that are trying to get you two back together. Um, get a restraining order if you have to. Like, you just, it's something that you have to be aware of. You got to cut the red cords, too, to free your energy from them. Because even if you're not physically with them, they can still pick up on your energy through those red cords. So that's why cut and clear is so important. But um, anyway, I'm going to post this up. If this is your story, like with the cat specifically, if this is what's going on with you, please email me or um, or comment below. I, I want to do what I can to try to give you some insight into how to protect your cat and protect yourself from this person. You know, whoever this is that I'm channeling, I, I don't normally do readings for free, but I want to make sure this kitty is safe. So if, if you have the kitty and this is your, your situation to a T, please, please let me know what's up. Um, anyway, I'm going to post this out now.